The best way to build a defined chest. What is the ideal chest? And how to achieve it at home with no equipment? Achieving the ideal chest is something that many people strive for, but it can be difficult to do without the right knowledge and guidance. Fortunately, with the right exercises and proper nutrition, you can achieve an impressive chest even at home. This video will talk about the fundamentals of having an ideal chest and how one can achieve it with some basic exercises. These are the best chest exercises you can pick and how to do them with the right form. First exercise is push up. Get down on all fours, placing your hands slightly wider than your shoulders. Second step, straighten your arms and legs. Then lower your body until your chest nearly touches the floor. And pause, then push yourself back up. To progress with this movement. And make it harder with this movement, you can do harder variations like one hand push-ups. Handstand push-ups. You should be able to do 20 to 30 reps 7 to 9 RPE, which means just about when you feel that right burn in your chest. Try to endure it and push yourself a little bit harder with any pushing exercises. If you find it difficult to reach those ranges. With full motion alternatives like bent knee push-up or wall push-up are always available with no equipment. However with pulling exercises this can vary, the ideal range would be 10 to 20 reps like pull-ups, dips, and any other pulling, so don't be too hard on yourself. Next exercise is incline push-ups. This variation of push-up is a little bit more challenging on your chest muscles, because it helps increase the range of motion for your push-ups. It also takes off some of the impact and puts your body in an inclined position, meaning that your chest gets a better range of motion when doing incline push-ups than when doing flat push-ups. Next exercise would be dips. If you don't have access to a dip station, try doing it with an object that can elevate you and enough space to extend your legs. This could be a box or a chair. These are steps to perform a proper form for dips. Grip the parallel bars and leap up, extending your arms fully. Lower your body by bending your arms while leaning forward. Dip down until your shoulders are below your elbows. Lift your body up by straightening your arms. Lock your elbows at the top. And for more intensity for your chest. Decline push-ups. If you're looking to add a little more intensity to your push-up workouts, try adding decline push-ups into the mix. Unlike regular push-ups, decline pushes are done with your feet elevated on a step or bench. A box or a chair would work perfectly too. Common mistakes people make when trying to build a perfect chest at home and how to avoid them. Building a perfect chest at home can be a daunting task. It requires dedication and consistency, but many people make common mistakes that can hinder their progress. In half of this video, we will quickly discuss the most few common mistakes people make when trying to build a perfect chest at home and how to avoid them. With this knowledge, you'll be able to build an impressive chest in no time. Mistake number one. Not working out daily. The hardest thing about building a perfect chest is not working out every day. There is not magical compound for increasing your chest size, so you need to work on it consistently in order to see results. If you don't work out every day, the muscles will be too tired to build larger breasts and you'll only make small gains. Make sure you do enough exercises that challenge your chest and prevent muscle fatigue so they stay strong. Mistake number two. Working out too much with no rest days although intense exercise can help build an impressive chest. You need to make sure you take a breather from time to time by resting at least one day every week. This will prevent the muscle from becoming overworked or injured. Furthermore, it's important that after every hard workout, you give your muscles recovery time by resting for a day and recuperating with low-intensity workouts that won't irritate your muscles. Mistake number 2 too focused of your dream body. This error isn't exclusive to muscle-building enthusiasts. In fact, it applies to anyone who is interested in a fit and healthy lifestyle. Exercising and eating right are key for anyone striving for certain body goals. It can be beneficial to set aspirations when it comes to achieving your desired body type, however, continuously comparing your current physique to the goal you want can ultimately be a hindrance. It is important to keep yourself motivated and striving for something, but that shouldn't be at the expense of being content with where you are now. Comparing yourself to your goals too often can be detrimental to your mental health and may ultimately lead to reduced motivation in achieving them. 
Constant self-evaluation can also add additional stress around training and sticking to a healthy eating plan. If you're feeling bad about yourself after looking at fitness models' posts on Instagram, it's a sign that unfollowing them should happen. A lot of the images on social media are heavily photoshopped or unrealistically edited, and not something to live up to. Find someone who motivates you instead of making you feel worse. Looking back at your progress photos from a few months or years ago is a great way to stay motivated. You can clearly see how much work you've already put in, which can be much more inspiring than dwelling on how far you have yet to go. Staying focused on your progress can make it easier for you to keep going and achieve your goals. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe for more short informational videos.